The survivors of the tragedy were brought ashore to Greece after being rescued by a merchant ship in the Mediterranean. Some offered up prayers on the quayside, thankful that they were still alive. Describing what happened, they said they had set sail from Libya and were heading for Italy. But several hours into their journey, traffickers tried to move them onto a bigger boat already packed with people. The ship sank before the survivors could board it. The UN Refugee Agency said they're trying to establish just how many people have died. We have been able to speak to uh, 41 survivors of an incident that, if it's confirmed, would be one of the worst tragedies in the Mediterranean in the last 12 months. Uh, perhaps as many as 500 people uh, drowned a few days ago. We don't know exactly when, uh, when a large ship went down uh, between uh, Libya and, uh, and Italy. The survivors are mostly Somalis, Ethiopians and Egyptians. A three-year-old boy was among those who made it ashore, his smile giving no sign of the ordeal they've all been through. The local police detained them at a stadium where they were registered and appeared to be in good health. UN refugee agency said the tragedy is yet another example of what is happening on an almost daily basis in the Mediterranean. Jane Francis Kelly, BBC News.